everybody. How's it going? It's time for Tuesday's Facebook Live. I am a little bit early today, so it may take us a little while to find everybody who wants to join. I am going to keep a look and make sure I'm in the right place. I am really excited about today's project. I think it's really fun. And I actually received one of these, um, I don't know if I got it as a swap or something, and I was like, this is magic. How was this made? And um, I have found uh, several things online that helped me kind of figure out how to do it. So good morning, everybody. All right, good, I see you joining. Hello, I am having a good morning. Thank you, Catherine. So today's Facebook Friday is early because I am taking my middle child, my middle daughter to get braces. And we're all just a little bit nervous. She is my um, warrior, my uh, glass half empty child, if you will. <laughs> She's a lot like her mama. So things aren't always um, easy maybe or too much anticipation ahead of time she's she's quite nervous um but she's just getting them on the top this time so i keep telling her hey you know it's only half of what your friends have gotten so we'll see um my oldest daughter had invisalign you know the kind that's like the clear trays that they take in and out she loved it um but my middle daughter thought she was going to go for the traditional thing we'll see <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I don't know if any of you have experience with um, Invisalign versus regular braces, but uh, we found that Invisalign took a lot longer than we thought. Um, there was a lot of delay when they had to re reform trays and stuff, so I was kind of glad that she took this traditional braces route. So we'll see. Oh, I don't know. She'll be fine. She'll survive. We've all survived braces. Millions and millions of people. That's what I told her last night. All right. So so today, we're going to make this um, double slider card, and I have put a gift card in it. See how that works? Isn't that magical? I was blown away when I first saw this, um, and I have tried to actually write a tutorial for this before, and it's one of those you really got to do in a video so that you can see it. So that's what we're going to do today. I thought it was perfect for the birthday cheer so that we, um, you know, birthdays, gift cards. I thought that would be a good, good idea. Um, I want to remind you guys just one reminder today that my Happy Tales class to go deadline is Friday. Um, and I've got it here. There are, I can't remember. Let's see, what are we doing? Three cards, four cards, and two 3D projects. Um, the deadline is Friday. You can get it with a bundle or without. Um, you can also get to uh, PDF only. So if you're interested in this, make sure that you hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com and click on that picture down at the bottom of um, today's post and you'll see it there. So you can get the details. I don't want you to miss out on the super, super cute class. And Friday, hopefully you guys will come and join me on Friday's Facebook Live over at Pink Buckaroo Stampers Group. I am hopefully, fingers crossed, will have my next class ready to show you guys. Um, it's designed, it's just not typed and photographed, which is really what takes a long time. Um, but it's um, for Easter. It's going to be my Easter class. So hopefully you will join me on Friday at two o'clock over at Pink Buckaroo Stampers Group. Um, I will add a link at the top here. If you haven't joined yet, come join us. I do Facebook Friday over there where I do three projects and I share um, more frequently over there because Facebook uh, shows more of things, more, shows you more things that are in your groups rather than in a business page, which is the which is what we're on right now. So join me. Everybody is welcome. So don't feel like you don't qualify to join or whatever. There's no qualifications. It's just an easier place for me to communicate with you guys. Okay, so let me, speaking of, I'm going to share this over to my stampers group. Hopefully we've got it. And I'm gonna switch you guys over. Now I remembered to get, um, Susan's asking me, are you doing a class on garage gear? Yes, Susan, yes, yes, yes. I have been worried about um, garage gears because last year our dude stuff 
you know, sold out before the end of the catalog. So I was kind of worried, but I really want to do garage gear. So be looking for that probably towards the end of March. Um, as long as everything stays in stock, which is kind of the trouble these days because Stampin' Up! stuff's so popular, it's selling out and it's, it's just crazy. Um, but yes, garage gears is top of my list, all right? Okay, so I never can remember to pull out the prize for Tuesday's Live. Here's a prize. Look, it's a good one. That strong and beautiful stamp set that has those amazing sentiments along with a bolt of this ribbon. This is the um, reversible granny apple and coastal cabana. So I will be giving away this bundle on Friday. I'll choose somebody um, as a thank you for sharing. I closed my iPad like I don't need to see what's happening. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna switch you guys around and um, you know that I'm not fancy, so you're just going to close your eyes and pretend like nothing's happening. Nothing to see, nothing to see. Thank you for sharing. Those of you who have already shared, I do greatly appreciate that. That is awesome. New stampers, people who are looking for stamping ideas. All right, let's see if we can get everything situated. My microphone fell down. Oh. Feels like a Monday. I don't know, you guys. You know what? It kind of is a Monday now that I think about it. Because yesterday was a holiday and the kids, the kids were home. Actually, they were great yesterday. I kind of just gave in and let the little ones video game it up all day. And I did not hear from them the entire day. I know, bad mom. But you know what? Sometimes when you gotta work, you gotta let your kids just entertain themselves. Okay, let's see, where am I gonna put this? I'll, I guess I'll just leave it here. Here's what my focus this week is. Birthday cheer, it's an awesome bundle in the occasions catalog. Really, the stamp set is fantastic. Um, the, the projects you're gonna see me do on Friday, we're gonna color these. Um, and they're just really fun. If you like to use your Stampin' Blends, these are great images to use with your Stampin' Blends. Um, and then, of course, wonderful sentiments. But then this, the framelits are really different. This, we've got this one that matches this right here. But then these two don't match necessarily this stuff. They're kind of standalone. And that's what I'm gonna really show you is how to use these awesome framelits. Um, this one, today I'm kind of calling it paper piecing where I'm taking different colors um, of cardstock and filling in those spaces, okay? I'm gonna show you an easy way to do that today. Um, and for those of you that just joined, this is what we're making. Look, it's a double slider. I think it's magical the way it does that. And this is what we're using. My colors, you guys have commented on the colors. I too love these colors. We're using Pineapple Punch, Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, and Highland Heather. Some really bright, fun colors. Now all the measurements are gonna be over on, they are actually already are on my blog. I posted them this morning. Um, so don't feel like you have to rush and write this down. Um, you can go over to pinkbuckaroo.com and find it. And I'll add the direct link at the top of the video today when I'm done. Okay, so let's start by making the, the little um, holder. You know, there's lots of steps here and I kind of, each time I've made it, I've made it in a different order. So we'll see how this goes today. This is 11 by five and a half. So you're only gonna get one of these out of a full piece of cardstock. You're gonna cut five and a half on the short side, so it's five and a half by 11. And we're gonna score it at three and a half, at seven, and at 10 and a half. All right, and before I do anything else, this is what I forgot to do when I first made it. Um, let me burnish all those lines. Here we go, I'm gonna stamp my sentiment here. Let me say, think, do I wanna do that really? It doesn't matter, I just wanna make sure. No, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna stick to the way that I did it. Okay, so we've got these three sections, right? And then we've got this. This is gonna fold in, we're gonna put adhesive on this and um, fold it in. Now here's the secret ingredients, which is so weird. This has been sitting on the floor of my office like a piece of trash all week, but I was saving it for a project. You need a grocery bag. 
And of course, I've got my favorite grocery bag, Target. And you're just gonna kind of cut it apart. I've also made this with our cello bags, but I think, in my opinion, that the grocery bag actually works better than the cello bag. I think it's a little more, I don't know, it glides a little bit better. So you're gonna cut a strip that is about an inch, an inch wide. Okay, and your scissors will just glide along like fabric. Hello everybody, thanks to those of you who said you shared the video, I definitely appreciate that. All right, now here we're bringing back our pineapple punch piece again. Here's the first section, right? This is where we did three and a half. Over here is this end piece. We're gonna put this around this first section. And I'm gonna take my trash slash grocery bag, and I'm gonna fold it over, making sure it's nice and smooth. And then I cut it much longer than I need it, so I'm gonna trim it off like that. And I'm just gonna get some regular tape, and I'm gonna tape it. We don't want it, you know, super tight, but we also don't want it loose. We're gonna, this is what's gonna make those pieces move. See how that slides like that? Okay, so I'm gonna put another piece of tape just to make sure. I don't want anything to, to not give it that nice glide. All right, like that, okay? All right, um, I'm just noticing my thing up here. I put this up today just to let you guys know that if you order anything between now and Monday and you use this host code, you're gonna get Friday's make and takes, not today's. Friday's, I send you three make and takes. I just realized that. That's kind of a brain fart right here in the middle of what we're doing, but I just wanted to make sure that I didn't confuse you or forget to say that. Okay, so we see how we've got this little slider right here. So I'm gonna move this all the way up there to where it feels like it's nice. And this is a piece, and you know what? I'm looking at this one, this is too long. I have two other ones that I cut, let me get those. You need two whisper white pieces that are three and a fourth by five and a fourth. See how they're just a little bit smaller here than this, okay? So now you could do all your stamping ahead of time, but I'm gonna do it after I'm done because I just wanna make sure that everything's on the right side when I put this all together. I'm putting a little piece of tear and tape here and you guys, my nails are so broken right now. Let's see if I can get that peeled off. Come on. Tear and tape is gonna be your best choice for this. And see how I have a little bit of tear and tape hanging off the edge? We definitely don't want that because that's gonna keep it from sliding. Just a little bit of tear and tape there. And we're gonna lay this one right on top of that. Okay, now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna put tear and tape right here at the bottom. Have any of you ever um, made one of these before? Louise is saying they don't give plastic bags here in Puerto Rico anymore. So if you live somewhere where they don't give plastic bags, you can find plastic, um, you know, this kind of bag. It doesn't have to be a grocery bag. Um, like I said, I have used our cello bags that you can order in the catalog. Um, you know, packaging, any kind of loose cello packaging will work. All right, so I put tear and tape there. I'm gonna put this one right here. And let's give it a little, let's see. It's gonna go like that. Do you see the inner workings? See how that works? Isn't that bizarre? Whoever came up with this, seriously, is a genius. I mean, I would never, that's like engineering thoughts in my mind. I would never have been able to think of that. All right, now on this little tab right here, ooh, Noni Pop, that's a great suggestion. Ziploc bags, yes, Ziploc bags. I was trying to think of where else you would get a bag. Yes, Ziploc bags, that would be great. You know, the um, grocery bag is real thin and I like it um, the best of what I've tried, but that doesn't mean these other things don't work. Okay, so now watch, here's where it can get confusing. I'm gonna take this tab right here and I'm gonna adhere it behind this piece right here. 
Okay, it's gonna go kind of tuck in there like that. And then make sure it's all lined up and press that adhesive in. Okay, all right, let's try it. Let's see which way is the top. Now I didn't punch my circle, which I was supposed to do. Uh-oh, hold on, there we go. If I punched my circle, I wouldn't be struggling to get this out with my broken nails, come on. Oh, good grief, it's a Monday, you guys. Come on, paper, do what you're supposed to do. All right, well, fine. If you're not gonna do what you're supposed to do, then I'll do it the right way. Okay, everybody close your eyes as I pull this apart and punch my circle and do it the right way. All right, let's go back. Here we go. This is where it's coming up, right here, okay? So we want our circle right here. Take, this is a, what is this, a one and a half, and I'm gonna punch it right like that. That way I can grip that a little bit better and it's gonna pull out. Okay, let's try it again. Good thing that I have more tearing tape. We can solve it. I can't remember where I got my first card like this. It was not, I can't remember somebody, it must have been in a swap because I had never seen a card like this. All right, remember, we're tucking that in. Let's make sure we've got everything where it needs to be. And there we go. Okay, so now look, ta-da, yay, it works. That's fun. So you can make these in lots of sizes and I've seen them, you know, where you pull them out to the side like that, but I wanted it to go up, up and down um, because I wanted this to go across. But down here on the bottom, you see, I just took my gift card and stuck it down and I actually used the Target gift cards when you get them and you peel them off that paper. There's that you know, like rubber cement stuff, and I just stuck it on with that. But if your gift card doesn't have that, you can use um, glue dots or washi tape. All right, now let me get all of this folded down nicely. Now, this was the part that I hesitated, and I probably should have done this ahead of time, but I'm, I'm gonna do it now, because this is how I did it when I made my sample. Sarah, dog poop bags too. Hey, you guys are coming up with great ideas. I forget where we find bags all the time. All right, time for a spectacular celebration in Gorgeous Grape. There we go. And now let's make our, I'm gonna close this. Let's make, let's do this inside stamping first because we're gonna have to let those cupcakes dry. Um, so I'm gonna take the cupcake the one single cupcake stamp, and I'm gonna stamp it right there in Memento. And then I'm gonna take Melon Mambo. And you know, you could really just do whatever you want on here because there's so many fun little birthday things in this set. Right there, Melon Mambo. Now, I'm gonna use my stamp and blend, so because I'm using a yellow, I'm gonna heat set my ink because I have found that the yellows really pick up that black. No, none of the other colors really do it. The, the really, really light colors do if I don't heat set it and make sure it's dry. And that gives me a chance to really dry that Melon Mambo ink too so I don't smear it. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take Highland Heather Light. And I'm gonna color in the cupcake paper. Um, our projects on Friday, I have two cards and a 3D, a box that I'll show you before I end today. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Now I'm gonna take the dark Highland Heather and go right under the cupcake top and along the bottom and along the side, leaving that middle, that light color. All right. 
Yeah, I really like to heat set my ink when I'm using these lighter colors. I just found that, you know, as good as the inks and the markers are, it is a lot better with the yellows if I heat set it. And what's our light pink? Petal pink? That one too. All right, going around. And pineapple punch. You know, I love Daffodil Delight, but man, I really love pineapple punch. It is one of our in colors that came out this year, which means that it'll go away at the end of, what's next year, 2020. So I've gotta use it up as much as I can. And I'm using Lovely Lipstick because we do not have Melon Mambo, right? We don't have Melon Mambo Stampin' Blends. We have so many blends now, I have a hard time remembering what we have. All right, while we have this out, let's put our circle. I'm gonna take half that same punch, punch half a circle, and where's my adhesive? Right here. Now I wanna line that up with that, so I'm gonna put it right there, make sure it's centered. Does the ink show through to the other side? Um, with Stampin' Blends, yes, you will see it come through to the other side, for sure. Let me show you. See right there? Um, my daughter, it's funny, my youngest daughter was doing, they have, they're having a t-shirt contest at school, a design, t-shirt design. Um, and she, it has to be only four colors. I just punched that with a one in, or the eight inch circle punch. I'm gonna take my um, gorgeous grape mini striped ribbon. I'm getting everything done before we do those cupcakes on the front because they're gonna need to sit and dry. Um, so she, they are the, the Longhorns. Her school is the Longhorns. So she drew this really awesome Longhorn and it, she was very concerned about following the rules and using only four colors. And so when she gets her mind to something, there's like no stopping her. She's gonna do it right then. If she wants to do it, there's no waiting, there's no stopping. And I, I said, why don't we get you some brand new markers that you can color that with? No, I'm gonna do it right now, I'm gonna do it right now. So of course, all of her markers are, you know, junky. So I pulled out my Stampin' Blends and I let her color it with, her stamp and, with my Stampin' Blends. And she kept gushing over these markers. Mommy, these markers are amazing. And I was like, yeah, they are, they, they're really good. And the whole time I'm thinking, please don't mess them up, please don't mess them up. Um, but she did good, she did really good and she colored and then she said, um, it bleeds through, Mommy, look at the back, I'm gonna have to rewrite my name and Sharpie on the back. And I said, oh no, 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 that's not because then that'll go through. So it was kind of like a, she was very concerned that the color had bled through and, but I think it'll be fine, I told her. I think her art teacher would not mind that the back was, because the color was so dark and so beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna cut this out four times. The first time we're gonna cut it out in Whisper White. And I have put an adhesive sheet, or multi-purpose adhesive sheet on the back. Now, you know, you really could do that for all, all uh, four pieces that we cut, but I'm just gonna do it for the white, okay? So let's do that. Get this one and we'll just put that aside. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna use the dryer sheets for these others and you'll see why I really chose to use a dryer sheet. Cheap dollar store dryer sheets, okay? They're like a penny each. No, no, I take that back, they're two pennies each. <laughs> There's 55 in the box, which is less than two pennies but we'll say two pennies. Okay, so I put the dryer sheet, then the gorgeous grape, and then the framelit. This is going to keep all those little bits that I'm going to glue inside the white one stuck to the dryer sheet so they're not lost. See that? That way I can pull them easily off and um, glue them into the white one. I use dryer sheets a lot. If you ever get one of my class to goes, you might think that your kit smells like laundry because it really does help, especially when you are cutting um, uh, more intricate pieces and if you have to do a lot of them. Like I recently, for my Valentine's class, I had to cut 
close to a hundred of the little word framelits, you know, the um, well-written. And I did it on a dryer sheet so that each time I ran it through, I could just quickly pick that word up and move it over because like that, and then you would move it and run it through. That way you don't have to use your dye brush every time. It doesn't work like that with every framelit, but for the most part it does. And that one just came out. Okay, now dryer sheets are like, my secret weapon I think when I am preparing for classes and events and, and doing things quickly I find it to be my secret weapon all right so you can see how this cuts out it's like a border so you're gonna have to if you the way we're gonna use it on Friday where we would cut it like this okay but we're actually going to completely cut out these cupcakes all right so just follow the line of the cupcake and cut it out and they're going to be overlapped a little bit so if you're worried about your cutting don't don't be it's really very very minor compared to everything else that we're going to do to it you're also going to need a wink of stella to make these little bits sparkly okay so now we've got our white now i'm going to get my dye brush and this is another secret weapon bam look at that they just come right out now these have the adhesive on the back so they may not come out quite as well as if they did not the adhesive sheet makes it a little bit thicker which then in turn kind of you know like the sheet doesn't cut all the way through in the back but that's okay we are going to make it work just fine would it still slide if you added a piece of cardstock on the back to cover the bleed through? Um, yeah, I think so. I, I think so for sure. And um, I stamped it pretty low. So I don't think that it's gonna show too terribly much. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel these off. Good gracious, my nails. It's like when one breaks, they all start breaking out of sympathy, and then I have nothing left to work with. <laughs> I've been thinking I really should go just get my nails done, but I don't like to waste my time doing that. I have so many other things to do. Okay, so we've got those there. We're gonna take a piece of um, the Bright's Designer Series Paper Stack. This is Gorgeous Grape. You could use, you know, the Highland Heather or the Melon Mambo or whatever you want, whatever you want. And we're gonna snip it off right there like that. And then I can't stop using this framelit, you guys. This is the, whoops, this is the Be Mine, you know, the Valentine Heart Framelits. This is the Stitched Scallop Border. If I can remember all that and I am using glue dots because I'm too chicken to use my <laughs> my fine tip glue pen because I make a mess there we go okay now we are ready to layer our cupcakes I'm gonna put the heart one I'm gonna put it kind of like this and I want the yellow to show through on the cupcake paper so I'm gonna just barely overlap it there on the white see so that because over here I did it a little bit too low. See how the white's showing through and that looks like the cupcake's clear? I didn't like that. So I'm gonna do it just so that it's sitting, it's like it's sitting on the counter because then we want the paper to look like the cupcake paper is the yellow. All right, now I've got a few of these little sticky doodads left in here. And so what I do is I just kind of stick it to my desktop until they come out. I know, it's kind of a lazy method I think. All right, there we go, overlapping. Okay, now we're gonna get our three pieces and this is very important and I remembered to put it on the supply list today. Oh, it's right here. Your take your pick, this putty stuff right here. We're gonna take it um, and pick those pieces up and I am gonna use my fine tip glue pen, which I think is a little bit, I think it's a little crusty. I think it needs a little cleaning up. I'm gonna put just a little, hopefully, 
hopefully, hopefully, just little dots in all these places that I'm gonna glue these things down. Now you guys, when I look at my iPad, it's very blurry. And I notice that when I see my videos come up later on in the week, if I'm on my computer, they look very blurry. But if I'm on my phone, they don't look so blurry. Does it look blurry to you guys? I don't know if that's the Wi-Fi. I don't know. I don't know. I am not technologically savvy enough to figure that out. Okay, so now let's see. I'm going to start with a heart because that's obvious. See how I can pick it up with the, the little putty stuff on the end? And then let's do gotta stay there buddy let's pick up that oh come on now you're gonna really show me up aren't you put that there press it down now when I'm all done I'm gonna take my big clear block and set it on top so that these will really stay flat and dry flat um, so you guys are saying no not blurry Probably difference in picture size from phone to computer on iPad, not blurry. Okay, all right. Now, I'm not gonna worry about it then. Thank you. All right, now let's get a little melon mambo right here. So you see how fun this is? It's just like creating these little color combinations on your cupcakes. It's really fun. I'm gonna get, okay, this dryer sheet's extra sticky. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why. And then let's get that little piece and stick that there. And then you can take your little pointer end, poke it down. This guy needs to be stuck down a little bit more. All right, now, of course, the cherry should be red. And I thought about the cherry stem needing to be brown. But I was like, that's just a teeny tiny piece. And we're not going to cut this whole thing for that. So look, we're just going to use, we're going to make the cherry stem gorgeous grape. Who cares? Doesn't have to be exactly the right color. And let's get this one. Now, if you really want to get fancy and use your fine motor skills, you could, now this one I'm going to have to slide under a little bit. You could even do these, see, these little paper pieces. See, these are here but I'm not gonna get that fancy. I'm gonna leave it like that. How cute, right? And look, you've got these pieces over here. You could make three more or two more. With these pieces, you could actually make three of these. They'd all be like different little combinations of the colors. Now wait, we're not done. We have to make it glittery. So take your wink of Stella and color in those cupcake pieces. And this is sugar-free keto cupcake, okay? That's what we're going to say. We're going to pretend because <laughs> that's the only kind of cupcake I can have these days. Mm, we have a sugar-free, like a health bakery here in Holotus where I live, and she makes keto, which is like low-carb, you know, sugar-free, low-carb type cupcakes, and they are delicious. All right, there. Did I, did I remember everything? I think I did. There you go, look, can you guys see that? Isn't that so cute and not terribly difficult? You know, when I first saw these framelits, I thought, oh, how are we gonna do that? How are we going to, where's my other one? How are we going to color that or fill that in? Where, it disappeared. Um, but now that I've been playing with it, I realize how many, am I looking at it? I, I realize what the possibilities are. Well, I don't know. The cupcake framelit has disappeared. But uh, there's several ways to color these in. But I think this is my favorite. So here you go. If you haven't seen it, there's the happy birthday. Not too bad. And yes, I think if you put a piece of paper on the back of that, it would be just fine. It would still slide. All right. And down here is where you put your gift card. Very cute. Okay. So now let me tell you about Friday. Oh, here's my cupcake. Let me tell you about Friday. Friday, we're gonna make three more um, birthday cheer projects. Here's one of them. And this one, I'm gonna show you how I did this. Filled in those little die cut pieces, okay? Um, and there's something inside of here. 
that you'll just have to come on Friday to find out something birthday related. Um, and I'll show you how to make the box. And then we'll do two cards, uh, two birthday cards. So hopefully you'll join my Facebook group, Pink Buckaroo Stampers group. Just click join, everybody's welcome, and then you can join me on Friday at two o'clock central for three more projects. And the host code for those projects is right here if you wanna put in your order between now and Monday night. No, yeah, Monday at midnight. I will send you this one and the two others that we're gonna make on Friday. Um, remember also, hopefully, you know that we have these new celebration items that you get free during celebration you get something free with every fifty dollars you spend and so on friday and last tuesday i showed you some projects with these so scroll back if you haven't seen them um, this is my favorite this is a bundle you get free with a hundred dollars and then um next week next friday there's even more new stuff coming out it's so amazing it's so fun so I've got lots to show you, all right? All right, you guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna edit the video with all the important links that you need up at the top. Uh, make sure you join my group and hop over to pinkbuggeroo.com to get the measurements and the product information and the link to um, my class to go, which deadline, which deadline is Friday. All right, you guys, say a prayer for me and my daughter today <laughs> that we survive the braces. And I will talk to you guys on Friday. All right, have a great week. Thanks, everybody. Bye.